Hey guys, this video is going to be about what I've been doing since my last video, and then it's also going to be about tips for getting ready for the application to medical school as well as the application to medical school itself. I'll be honest and say that the renal system was harder for me so far than the gastrointestinal system, but we're not done with the renal system yet, so we'll see how I feel as we get further along in it. Here's a quick video from my trip to LA. I decided to take a break from studying and come to LA. So I went to a vegan donut place and I got these donuts. And I also got this ice cream donut. And you can see it has chocolate covered pretzels and mochi and mint chocolate chip ice cream. So let's get started with the application tips. So my biggest tip is to apply early. And this is because many schools start their admission cycle earlier in the whole application season. So they start inviting people for interviews earlier and then they start admitting people earlier. And so if you apply earlier, you have a better chance of getting an interview. And that means you have a better chance of getting admission. And I think that that is my biggest tip. Personally, I think I didn't apply it as early as I should have. Um, other things that I've learned from my application process is that the essay is really important. Sometimes you can overlook it if you think of all your extracurricular activities and your GPA and your MCAT score, you sort of almost feel like there's like a formula to get into medical school. But the essay is really important. They wanna know why you wanna be a doctor. They wanna see that you have the passion because medical school can be really challenging sometimes and they want to make sure that you're going to be committed to this career regardless of how hard it becomes in the process. It's also important when you're applying to medical school, when you're choosing where all to apply, that you think about the mission of the school. A lot of times it seems like you need to apply everywhere and I do recommend applying to a whole bunch of schools, you know, like as they say, like reach school, safety schools, all of that. And that's very important. But at the same time, look at what the school's mission is and make your secondary essays show why you are a good fit for that school. Because a lot of schools really truly are looking to see that you'll be a good fit in their school. Another um, tip that I wanna go over is that your activities matter. So for example, for me, I worked as a scribe and then I was promoted to chief scribe and that let me get certain perspectives and opportunities I wouldn't have otherwise. So I think that that insight is really useful, not only for like your interviews when you can discuss it or your essays when you can write about those experiences, but also as a medical student, it's helped me in my classes to know that information. So I highly recommend getting real clinical exposure where you can see doctors practicing medicine. So I really liked being a scribe and I would highly recommend that. I also did research in multiple places before I went to medical school and I recommend that as well because it looks good of course on your application but it's also something I recommend because then it allows you to be better at doing research in the future. So when you're in medical school you can do research better and then, you know, in residency and so on. In your career, you have experience. And so if you have prior experience, it's always easier to get more experience. And the more experience you have, the easier it makes it to do research. So I highly recommend doing research as well as an activity if you have time. Of course, the most important things are to make sure you have a good GPA and MCAT, in my opinion, at least that's the most important things because they are screening level things. So a school may like everything else about you, but they may not ever learn about your activities if your MCAT or your GPA is below their cutoff. Going with my previous point about school selection, I wanted to talk about GPA and MCAT. So your GPA needs to be higher in certain schools while your MCAT can be lower. And similarly, in some schools, your MCAT needs to be higher and your GPA can be lower. So just look at those trends when you're choosing which schools to apply to as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.
拜。